guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is David Jr., a typical village boy born and raised in Kenya. And if it is your very first time on this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. And I'm coming live from a small village in the interior parts of Kenya. And this is how everything looks like. And that's my brother, I am Marwa. Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? My name is yeah. Marwa, coming live and clear from the villages here. Mm -hmm. It's a windy day, actually not really windy, breezy day, you know, you can see, you can see my, yeah, it's shirt. just blowing, yeah, it's just, my shirt is just blowing. Mm -hmm. Actually, we feel very, very super blessed, because mm -hmm. right now it's 8, 8 or 5, yeah. 8 or 5 uh, mm -hmm. a.m., and that's how the sun is here, you see. Wow, yes, the beautiful man. sunrise. Beautiful sunrise, <laughs> like we can wake up and have the entire day mm -hmm. with us. Yeah, you know, we feel so blessed. <laughs> yeah, you know, in other countries, mm -hmm. maybe Europe, the sun just shows up uh, for a short while. Oh. Let's say if it's winter, for example, mm -hmm. but a short while and it's gone. Mm -hmm. And even it can't, it can't be this strong, you mm -hmm. can't feel it on your, mm -hmm. your skin, you know. Wow. So here we're getting vitamin, vitamin D. Yeah, true. We're doing super great. Yeah, so today I want to be asking my brother some few questions about construction, about this house, how it, it goes, and yes. everything that you should know about construction, especially here in the village in Kenya. So, how is construction here, especially in the villages? The thing, the thing about construction in the village here is mm -hmm. uh, it's two-sided. Mm -hmm. For example, me, I'm building very far away from Nairobi, mm -hmm. meaning if I want to transport materials which mm -hmm. are manufactured in Nairobi, mm -hmm. for example, metals, mm -hmm. it's a little expensive. Yeah. But at the same time, labor in the village mm -hmm. is very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. Very, very cheap. Like the normal price here, people work for like $3 a day mm -hmm. or $4 a day mm -hmm. or maximum $8 a mm -hmm. day regular laborers so you as the boss you decide like how much you're gonna pay them per day mm -hmm. depending on the work that they people are doing mm -hmm. for example if people are mixing concrete mm -hmm. you have to pay them more than when people are saying people are just saying help me this team but help me this nails help mm -hmm. me this yes so constructing in the village mm -hmm. it, it depends sometimes uh it could be really cheap mm -hmm. yes really cheap that being said actually the materials here for construction are yes. very cheap compared yes. in the big cities like nairobi you know yeah it also mm -hmm. depends which type of building materials you are talking about mm -hmm. for example metals here in the village mm -hmm. is very expensive mm -hmm. because we don't have industries here mm -hmm. but sun it's mm -hmm. super super cheap because <laughs> yeah. it's like 55 dollars for a whole truck mm -hmm. but in the big city you're gonna mm -hmm. buy the same sun mm -hmm. for like 250 dollars mm -hmm. so you can imagine oh i think it's a two-win situation yeah, compared yeah, yeah. like you may find metals in the city are so cheap yeah compared for example cement mm -hmm. cement in the big city mm -hmm. you're gonna get it for like maybe four four dollars mm -hmm. or four and a half dollars wow but here in the village is six dollars wow so you see <laughs> yes but at the same time mm -hmm. timbers in the village timbers mm -hmm. that we really need to create uh, mm -hmm. like stuff like here yeah, true. Or you can you see, see or even posts yeah. things even like those po posts you see mm -hmm. timbers and posts yeah. here in the village mm -hmm. they are really cheap mm -hmm. really really cheap mm -hmm. you can get per feet mm -hmm. for like uh maybe 0 0.24 like us dollars oh, like wow. a cent mm -hmm. quarter quarter <laughs> cent mm -hmm. but actually if you have trees like what we did we have our own trees mm -hmm. you can get that uh, for one dollar you mm -hmm. can get like uh maybe four not even four like ten feet oh ten yes. feet yes because you have timbers all you need is somebody to to, mm -hmm. to make them timbers now mm -hmm. yes and what are the challenges that you have faced here being new in this game for construction for the first time the challenge is when i was starting mm -hmm. like everybody was telling me everything and i would accept it mm -hmm. you know people say no no you don't need this you need that mm -hmm. and i'm like okay maybe i need that mm -hmm. then the other guy comes <laughs> out, out to another plan and say no you really don't need this you mm -hmm. need this type of this so that was the main challenge here mm -hmm. but one thing i realized is when you are at the site mm -hmm. as the owner of the construction mm -hmm. it's very easy for you to note like hey i think there's a problem here or uh, there's something i need to change right here mm -hmm. when you as the owner of the project mm -hmm. you are on site oh, so it's wow. very important for you to always always mm -hmm. be on site oh, wow. because pe people will not cheat you mm -hmm. like n right now i know how many bags of cement yeah. we put on this floor <laughs> meaning if i want to go up mm -hmm. i totally know the number i can only add five more bags True. you know 
Yes. And, and also I feel like if you are not here, maybe somebody will tell you this thing is missing. Maybe you'll be saying, hmm. Yes, yes, how, yes. How is it going? Yeah, like for example, when we were putting this lab, mm -hmm. my timeline was three weeks. Wow. Which actually we calculated and it was like exact. Like mm -hmm. first week we put pillars, mm -hmm. second week we put setting of the house mm -hmm. and timbers, mm -hmm. and the third week we mm -hmm. put metals and we put the concrete. Mm -hmm. And it happened exactly like that. Yeah, but you see, if I was very far, somebody would say, no, you know, you don't know, the work is too hard or something like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of excuses. Oh, wow, that's yeah. super nice. Yes. And what, what is your next plan? As you can see now, the house is almost complete, guys. You yes. can see, you can tell by yourself. Yes. Yeah. So the house, the way you see it, is actually right now complete in terms of a skeleton. Yeah, true. The skeleton is complete mm -hmm. because this is the roof of the house yeah. only that as, we, per plan. as per the plan mm -hmm. all that we have some this crazy idea that maybe one day mm -hmm. we could make this entire place mm -hmm. as a presidential suite mm -hmm. and have uh, one more floor mm -hmm. for helicopters to be landing mm -hmm. but actually they can still land here because yeah. the house is big okay so my next plan is uh mm -hmm. first i want to take a break yeah so i can go back to traveling mm -hmm. at least i need some break I need to breathe because uh, from yeah, from February this mm -hmm. year I've just been here. Imagine being stuck from February. And yes. That traveler who just always moves, moves from, country from to, country, to country, country, city to city. <laughs> yes. So I miss traveling. I need to go back. Mm -hmm. And I know some of my subscribers also miss mm -hmm. traveling. Yeah. Yes. True. So guys, as you can see right there, that's skewering, You know. He's pouring some water to allow the, the house to come in a good shape, you know. This house, as you can see right here, it has been, it has been made this lab a few days ago. So this is curing process, you know. Yes, this is actually, water. We're right actually here. curing the house right now. Mm -hmm. And we, every, every time we pump water here, mm -hmm. we pour 6,000 liters. Mm -hmm. Yes, 6,000 liters of yeah. water. In, like right now, right here, the way you mm -hmm. see, we have 6,000 liters True. on top of the house. Yeah. Water here is not scarce as people may think, guys. Yes. You can see there is a lot of water here That's and we're not buying the water is from the river, straight away from the river and it's so clean and yeah, pure. Yeah, we're getting water from the river which is mm -hmm. just like a few meters from here. Yeah. Very, very few meters from here. Mm -hmm. And the idea is... Why we constructed this place is first to have this kind of serene and cool mm -hmm. type of climate, you mm -hmm. know. Yes, and having the river very close, yeah. it helps us also in times of construction. True, you know? the river it has been of more info importance, especially yes. at this site, guys. Yes, we don't buy water. water. We only have a machine <laughs> mm -hmm. and we pump it. And like for six mm -hmm. six minutes, mm -hmm. we have six thousand liters. Yeah, you can imagine. and actually, this house co consumes a lot of water. A so lot. You can imagine if yes. you were buying this water. Uh, yeah, it would be very <laughs> expensive. Yeah, super yes. expensive. Yes. And that being said, that is one of the advantages of constructing around here the village. You know, the construction. Yeah, you need to show them. Much. How Africa is green, you know, yeah, it is so green. You can tell, guys, this yeah, environment. Look at the breeze, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see my shirt? Mm -hmm. yes. And also you can tell from the trees they are swaying from one yeah, place from to, one the side other. to the other. Mm -hmm. Because many people always think it's desert and no, very... No, yes. no, no. Africa is the most blessed <laughs> land. Yeah, guys, yes. you can tell from this tree it is so green. Feel how the water is pouring down there. Mm -hmm. Feel it? Yeah, that's water pouring from the roof. Right the rooftop. Here. Yeah. So guys, I think we wanna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, we wanna end the video, guys, mm -hmm. and we wanna say thank you so much, so guys, for much. always, mm -hmm. always supporting our family. Yeah, true. And we are very, very proud. Like you guys always are here to give us some support. Yeah. And the thing, all oh, the idea behind this is just to inspire everybody. Like, hey, man. Even being born in Africa mm -hmm. is you like can do it. <laughs> not actually you can do it. It's a blessing, yeah, you know. True. Like we have land, we have a very beautiful, lush, mm -hmm. 
like like environments you the know sun the sun is always out for 12 good hours mm -hmm. in other countries they can't see that sun yeah like true. it's a blessing man to be born in africa mm -hmm. and we have to build it so that our future kids mm -hmm. don't have to take boats crossing the mediterranean sea yeah. trying to find like uh, the land of milk and honey the land yeah, of milk and honey is right land. here mm -hmm. yeah it's right here, right here guys. Right yeah here. all you need to do is create it even those buildings you see in New York City, mm -hmm. in Miami, mm -hmm. some guy someday was doing the same exact thing we were doing. Yeah. Yes, that's the only difference, yes. It's not like those houses built themselves, no. Mm -hmm. Some guy someday put some work. Yeah. And that's all we need to do in Africa mm -hmm. and make Africa the really, really dreamland that mm -hmm. we want to be. Yeah. Yes. From the villages of Africa, when I say bye bye. Yes, the breeze. Wow, look at this man. It looks like an ocean. Yeah, yeah you know. And also you can see the reflection of the sun. Yes, the sun right there reflecting, mm -hmm. and here a lot of current flowing. <laughs> yes. Bye bye, guys, and we love you so much. Please, if you're from Ayamaro, subscribe to David Junior's yeah, YouTube channel. Guys. Yes. Yeah. See you in our next one. Bye.